What game mechanic you wished you had in real life? How long would you like to sleep? You woke up well rested. Billy? Have you done your chores? Quick. He's getting away. Stop him before he reaches a bed or a campfire. He can literally force himself into a coma for up to 24 hours. Save slots. Granted you can make save slots however you can't load them. Inventory of obscenely unrealistic capacity on my person at all times. Creative mode. Healing slash cure. Like, one pill, injection, box, whatever and all your ailments are sorted. The motherload cheat code from the sims would be pretty darn handy. Captain Potato Face you will break the economy. Changing the difficulty mid game. But this invalidates your achievements. No more promotions or pay rises. Double jump. Respawn. In Fable 2, if you chopped firewood all night, in the morning you've made enough money to buy yourself a house. Once you did that once, and just rented the house out, you could then in a few weeks, buy another house with the profits. And in less than a month of in-game time, you were set for life as a wealthy owner of several rentals. I had to max out the rent in all of my rentals to hit maximum evil. But then I was constantly attacked in every town I went to. Leveling up. Yes. I'm thinking of solo leveling now. Rocket jumping. A stats menu. And to be able to check the stats menu of everyone else. You can. Just need an add-in for that. Double XP. Double money. The ATS from Fallout. Or similar mechanic. Yeah can I just pause time for a few seconds. To give myself some extra time. To think before doing something potentially stupid please? Can we just get 4 or 5 options of dialogue to choose from instead of coming up with it ourselves? Bethesda game mechanics. Man climb sheer face of Mount Everest on horseback. Skip cutscenes. Granted, you can skip cutscenes, but there is no cutscenes. Infinite stamina would be really nice. Be able to jog for an indefinite time, and without needing to rest eat. Blurst reincarnation. If you were an abortion and you go to heaven then you drop in on a parachute, after clutching it up in the gilag. Yeah but gl winning the gilag when the other guy spawns right behind you, or at least that's how it feels like. Honor from Red Dead Redemption. Every time I do a bad thing I get to walk around town greeting people and that makes me an objectively good person again. Murdered half the town. Just brush your horse, and you're a saint again. Easily able to climb glide swim being able to use elemental powers, and the best one of them all no longer needing to get education, to get a decent job. Exiting out of dialogue, and the person that's talking to me shuts up. Character editor. Okay, let's make me taller, add a lot more muscle, oh boy drop that waist size down a lot, hrm, let's touch up this face a bit, oh, get rid of that body hair. I would call this more than one, but if you have one you need the rest. I want titanfall to type movement, double jumps, and wall running. That or assassins creed free running. I want to be able to see my stats and debuffs. The latter would be incredibly helpful with my mental health, as everyone I've seen for it agrees that it's screwed, but has a wildly different diagnosis as to why it's screwed. It would also be amazing for any other illness, you'd just need to open your character menu, and then you'd have an instant diagnosis, and could get appropriate treatment. As for stats, I constantly feel I'm no good at anything, and not improving so being able to see where I'm at would be good, and I'd have an objective way of measuring any progress. Minecraft ability to respawn slash Pokemon's main character every game being immortal. Whenever I'm enraged all my opponents die slash disappear. Imagine being able to endlessly climb like in Uncharted or Horizon, Zero Dawn. No break in speed, no need for rest, and no stretching before or afterwards. A way to nullify full damage. I work around 20 floors up, and that would really speed up my way home. 
Actually, screw it. The glider mechanics from bot W then I could just glide to the train station from my window. Invincibility frames. Imma go do some somersaults on the highway. Imagine being sent to Afghanistan and just rolling through the line of fire. A lot of visual novel slash dating games have a relationship bar, where you can see how much someone likes you, just by pulling up a menu. This is super useful even outside of dating. It would help better maintain friendships, know when to visit family members, and even show how well liked you actually are at work. And also the dating applications are obviously useful as well. Save states, frame slowdowns, and programmable input. I want to see a real life till assisted speedrun olympics. Reading generic skill book grants you permanent proficiency of that skill without hands on experience. The skill tree from Skyrim, but adjusted for my talents. Read 5 more books to unlock speed reading. Memorize 481 more French words, to unlock the French language pack. Job 2 more miles to unlock stamina boost, and so on and so forth. Gliding. Flying would be great and all, but I can't go more than a 60 seconds in Guild Wars 2 without jumping off of some slightly higher terrain, just to glide forward rather than walking. Stealing slash breaking items makes no difference. If we take Skyrim as an example then there will suddenly be an influx of people in prison for petty reasons, like stealing a pen. Armor rating. Wearing armor on one part of my body somehow protects my whole body. Never mind real armor, just having my whole body be as tough as my shoes would help with dings, scrapes, paper cuts, bug bites, etc. I could have a Titania Mankevla Speedo made for it's dangerous to go alone. Take this situations. The ability to pause and instantly ingest and digest a fridge's worth of food or medicine, and it take immediate effect. I'm looking at you Elder Scrolls. Skill screens. Going for a run. Put extra points into stamina. Giving a presentation. Points into charisma. Drawing or typing. Points into dexterity. I feel like it would just be awesome being able to customize stats for different situations. Saves and loads. But you remember all that happens after you load a previous save. Also at the end of your life you could choose to load a previous save or die. So you can have eternal life if you happen to think of saving at your childhood. Being able to actually see your stats to see what I can improve. Like I know that some people can just tell. But sometimes I wish I was a sims character and have someone control me so I don't eat fucking pizza all the time. But then again that might backfire, because what if I get a sadist as a roverhead and trap me in a pool for me to die? That would suck. Losing the cops, like you would in a GTA game or Saints Row would be pretty powerful. As in you break sight of them for about 5 minutes and they all completely forget about you and your crimes. There were several games back in the day, I'm remembering Ninja Turtles 3 and Bubble Barble specifically, on the NES, where if you were playing 2 player, and your partner died, and used up all their lives, you could donate one of your lives to revive them. I've lost some really important people in my life, I'd gladly give them my last guy. Increasing stats with stat points. But not like in RuneScape where you gotta grind the stat. Instead you level, and just get stat points. Then no matter what you do, you can put points into any stat. Free resets would be dope too. Reload. You could do so much, kill people and have the moral high ground, win the lottery, slap people whenever you want, if you fail to pickpocket someone. The god mode mod is it will give me immense amounts of health strength, perception, endurance, Charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck while also allowing me to be able to fly and slow down time. Saving and reloading. Though, I think from an external perspective it wouldn't look any different from precognition. Someone would just suddenly know one or more current endpoints for their actions from that point. Which would explain John Wick as a player saving slash reloading, and we are an external viewer experiencing only linear time. Quests. Think about it, you are always given tasks that have discrete, achievable, and clearly defined objectives. 
when you complete them, you get a monetary reward that is always more than you actually need at the point you are at. There's no ambiguity, no applying for work, everything is going to be near your skill level so achievable, and you can choose to do a bunch in a day, to get extra money or you can take it easy on another day. It's like a job, but with so much less hassle and stress, and you can focus on what you feel like doing on a given day. Plus, quests are supposed to be fun, so you'll get all those benefits as well.